Hey, this is Brett. I'm just going to show you how to clone one computer to another over the LAN. It's a really easy process. It works best if you're using the same machine. Like, for example, in my job, I'll have to prep 20-some machines of the same exact kind. It's real easy to do. We're only going to prep one machine over the LAN today. But all that you do is go on the Internet. Do a Google search for Clonezilla, and I'll put the link in the description for this. You can click on Downloads, Stable Release, select uh, what kind of CPU you're using. Most computers nowadays have a 64-bit processor. And I like the ISO because that's what you're going to use to burn to a CD. But if you want to make a flash drive, you can get the zip file. And then you just download it. You know, pull up SourceForge. And it will download. When it's done downloading, just bring it up. And if you download the ISO and you're in Windows 7, you can simply click Burn Disk Image, put a blank CD in your drive, and burn it. And then you're going to restart your computer. Make sure your BIOS is set to boot to a CD-ROM. So go ahead and close that, and then this will pop up. Um, if you only burned one CD, you're going to need two, but you can go to other modes of Clonezilla and load it into the RAM, which is what I'll do here. And it'll load the complete CD into the RAM. then you'll start seeing it boot up the process. Alright, and now we're going to select our language, English. Um, if you're in the United States, you probably won't need to touch your key map. If you have a weird keyboard or you're in the UK or Russia, you might need to change your key map. That's basically just what keys go where on the keyboard. Alright, we're going to start Clonezilla. And we're going to do a device to device because we're copying from one device to another over the LAN. If you wanted to make an image of your machine, you could do device to image. Select beginner, and then we're going. Since we're copying uh, to a remote computer over the LAN, we're going to select disk to remote disk. If you wanted to copy to like uh, a drive that you had hooked up through a USB, you could do disk to local disk. But right now, we're going to choose disk to remote. Uh, we're going to choose DHCP, unless you know static settings and want to use static settings. Alright, it's got an IP address, and now you're going to select the drive that you want to copy. I only have one in this computer, so we're going to select that. If you want to check your file system for any errors before you clone it, you can select one of these. I just, I just installed Windows 7, so I don't want to do this. It's going to give you a quick command that you can enter next time. And it actually gave you all the directions if you look in the yellow. 
that's exactly what you'll enter on the slave machine which we're going to go to now and set up so when you boot your clone machine or your slave machine rather you want to make sure that it's going to boot to the CD and it's going to pop up this again Just clonezilla live is fine I'm going to go through the same settings that we went through last time. I speak English. I use the default key map. It's going to set up. All right, this time we're going to enter shell. And we're going to run the CMD. And basically you just enter what it tells you here in the yellow. So we're going to run sudo dash su or sudo su dash alright we now run as root and then we're going to run it we're going to run the network setup so it's ocs dash live dash net config oh, I'm going to choose DHCP again you can choose static if you know what the static IP address and things that you want to use all right, gave me an IP address. So we come back here, and then you just copy this line right here, which is OCS on the fly. Then you just press enter. And it's going to start copying everything. It's going to ask you, are you sure? This will delete everything off of your slave drive, the machine that you're cloning to. So make sure that you backed up any data, if you had any. And then it's going to ask you again. It's going to get the partition tables. If you want this machine to be bootable, you want to clone the bootloader. And then it's going to start copying. And when you're all finished and ready to go, your source computer will look like this. You simply press enter. And then you reboot. And the system will reboot. And then you go over to your target computer. You just press reboot here and both machines will reboot it'll ask you to remove the disk then you press enter and if all went well both of your computers will boot into Windows 7. Make sure that you unplug your network cable because these computers will have the same name. You're going to want to change them before you connect both of them to the network at the same time. So go ahead and do that.
as you can see both computers are booting